So we have part 284, C3, M1, B7, C8, E13, C9, C6, D3, P, C, sorry, C60, and then it goes 3P, 38D, 19D, 7B, 26. And it's line 22, F1, FA, 19C, 3M, 1B7, C8, E13, C9, C6, D, 3P, 38D, 19D, 7B, 26. Electron, optics, gun, 5G, well, SETI. There's the alien radio signal there. This is talking about transmission signals, electron optics, gun, keyword research from the well data. So the keyword was Channeltron, and it, and it continues from a previous video. Um, there's the line of data where it's the Channeltron pulse signals UFO 5G well study. So here's an electron gun. Um, it says scanning electrodes, Enzo lens, anode, one health cylinder, filament, an old voltage, electron energy, and focus voltage. And then it says minus Y and plus X plus Y. So common electron guns in electron spectroscopy can produce a beam of medium energy electrons with a squiggly line, 50 eV to 50 keV, with a beam current of typically some nano amperes and an energy spread less than an eV. The two most popular types of electron guns are the therm thermionic emission gun, shown schematically in the figure, and the field emission gun. So there's the thermial, thermionic emission gun is right there. Okay. Um, in thermionic emission, the mean energy of the electron gas is in, in the mean energy of the electron gas in the solid is increased by resistively heating the filament, providing a certain fraction of the loosely bound electrons with an energy exceeding the work, func barrier. work function barrier. <laughs> okay, pack. Okay, the cathode material in this case must have a high melting point and a possibly low work function. These requirements are met by tungsten, and that is often used as filament. Thoria coated metals, as well as LAB little six single crystals, have still a lower work function and are also used. So here's another diagram. We have a electron multiplier, outer cylinder, inner cylinder, electron gun is right this little guy here. This is a sample. Retarding grids and shield. And then down here you've got this is your core. And it's like a circle here, and you get R1, R0, and R2. So at the core of each apparatus for electron spectrometry, I always have trouble with that word, is a component that performs the actual selection of the electron energy or speed. The most common an analyzers in use today are electrostatic analyzers, the cylindrical mirror analyzer, CMA. Now this is interesting because we're using an obsidian mirror to diffract uh, laser signals and stuff. So I wonder if this has something to do with the, the way it should go. Um, lost my spot. And the hemispherical mirror and analyzer, HMA, that is sometimes referred to as a concentrical hemisphere analyzer, CHA. The retarding field analyzer RFA that is employed to acquire low energy electron diffraction data is sometimes also used for agar electron spectroscopy, mainly for qualitative purposes of checking sample cleanliness, but is not optimally suited for electron spectroscopy in general. The figure schematically shows the CHA and CMA type analyzers. In a CHA, an electrostatic field is applied between an inner and outer hemisphere Electrons with an energy equal to the past energy that are injected through the entrance slit tangentially to the median hemis hemispherical surface are transferred from the entrance slit to the detector. Then they describe a circular trajectory on the median hemispherical surface. The potential difference between the hemisphere determines the past energy. The energy resolution of the CHA is determined by the radius and the width of the slits at the analyzer entrance and exit. A lens is used to transfer electrons from the sample to the entrance slit. The electron optics in the transfer lens assemble also, assembly also contain an element that retards or accelerates electrons of a given energy to the past energy. The polar opening angle 
which um, they use characters to hide, is of the order of several degrees and the solid angle is therefore rather small. For example, for a 12 degree full polar opening angle, the solid angle is approximately some sort of equation there with pi in it. Um, therefore, the best attainable transmission of such an analyzer would be the squiggly line 1%. So keyword channel tron is in the next video. Okay, thanks for watching.